Oh, uh, come in, come in, come in, grab a seat, man. This another one that y'all been asking for. Cannabis, M versus cannabis. Now, originally I do the cannabis, like the cannabis this first, but in this situation, Eminem hit first. Story time. If you know, you know. If you don't, hey, let's get it. So the Eminem and Cannabis beef started way back in the 90s when Cannabis was beefing with LL Cool J. And, you know, they were going at it, doing their thing, you know? And then LL Cool J's diss, The Ripper Strikes Back against Cannabis. Cannabis accused Eminem of ghostwriting that shit, you know? Like a rumor was going around that, oh, Eminem ghost wrote The Ripper Strikes Back for LL Cool J and Cannabis and M were homies though. So Cannabis hearing this shit, he was like, what? What the fuck's going on, you know? So M heard about that shit, that old Cannabis, you know, this this is rumor going around that you ghost wrote that song for LL Cool J. Eminem pulled up on Cannabis, I think on set for a video shoot or whatever, but he hit him up and told him, hey bro, if I was gonna do some shit like that, I would have told you man to man, I ain't do that. Cannabis ain't believe him. And you know, Eminem looked up to Cannabis and shit. He thought Cannabis was cool. I actually wanted to do a couple tracks with Cannabis. But seeing people act like that, it just rubs you the wrong way. Like, you don't believe me? You really think I did that shit? And me, personally, I've never liked Cannabis. Never. I hate that nigga. Because I, I, I watched... I'm, a, I'm in a rap battle. Like I'm in the rap battle scene. Heavy KOTD. URL TV, so I watched a rap battle between Cannabis and Disaster. And this motherfucker Cannabis pulls up with an arm and a cast and a slingshot. And he's going against Disaster. If you know Disaster, you know he's an animal. And this motherfucker forgot his rhymes, nigga. Pulled out a whole fucking notepad and starts dissing back from a notepad type shit. That's some sucker shit. I ain't like that, nigga. So as soon as I heard that him and them actually beefed, Oh, hell no, you already know I'm finna hop on that shit. But I'm not finna do none of the tracks that he did. I'ma just do Cannabitch, and that's it. Because I don't, I don't even like that nigga like that. So, Cannabitch, after that whole shit with Eminem and Cannabis, and Cannabis not believing him about that ghostwriting shit, Eminem took the first shot on Role Model. I'm not gonna do it just because the whole track is not a diss. Only a couple bars in it. If you've heard Role Model, you know what I'm talking about. I'm cancerous, so when I diss, you wouldn't want to answer this if you responded back, but you wrote for cannabis. That's the first line on role model, so if you know, you know. M took the first shot, cannabis responded with a couple tracks like You Didn't Care and Ballad, some type of shit like that, but we're finna get into that. We're gonna get straight into cannabis. Five minutes, got the lyrics pulled up, let's get it. I think it went letter double copper wood. Holy shit. Oh, that's facts though. He's album flop though. He's album flop. Not, not long ago, there was a little rapper about to blow. But his album came and it was not good. I think it went letter double copper wood. So the silly little fans, they were misled by a nerdy internet computer hip hop head. Ah. Me and you, Cliff, we're gonna make some cash. Grab the silver paint and let's paint my ass. Hey, mister, would you get a bear with this stuff? The ass whipping I'm about to add. Oh my, oh, oh, what? Hey, mister, would you get a bear with this stuff? The ass whipping I'm about to administer to this ass kissing little bash, no blister, mm. Stanibus, little Marshall Mathers sister. <laughs> Stanibus, <laughs> Stanibus, little Marshall Mathers sister. Stan, cannabis, Stanibus. 
My God. And it's stuck to this ass. And yo, that vaginal blister shit is wicked. Would you get a bed with this stuff? The ass whipping I'm about to add minutes. Stuck to this Ooh. ass kissing little vaginal, vaginal blister. blister. Stand a <laughs> little more dramatic than sister. And in this corner, we have the mister not having it. It's stuck, man, sinister. Ah. Dr. Evil with his bag of tricks. Fuck this little antagonist. Faggot dick sucking XLL. Cool J fan from Windsor. Ooh. I'm about to murder little Ooh. Kenny Fag and this stuff. You bastard. I ain't wanna have to diss ya. Cannabis, where the fuck you at? No, no, yo, this is some of the most disrespectful shit I've ever seen, bro. Like, this shit is wicked, bro. I'm about to murder little Kenny Fag Canifsta. You back, Kenny Fag Canifsta. If y'all know, Ken Kniff is one of Eminem's alter egos. And now he's talking about Kenny Fag Kniff. Oh my stuff, stuff from Stan. Fag from Faggy. Come on, man. Like, y'all see what he's doing. Sucking XLL, Cool J fan from Windsor. Ah. I'm about to murder little Kenny Fag Kniff stuff. You bastard. I ain't wanna have to diss ya. Cannabis, where the fuck you at? I miss ya. Cannabis, oh cannabis. Wherefore art thou cannabis? <laughs> Wherefore art thou cannabis? Had to hit him with that Shakespeare one time. <laughs> My God. Oh, cannabis. Wherefore art thou cannabis? Please tell me what happened with that style that you were rapping with. Cannabis. Oh, cannabis. Are you from Los Angeles, New York, or just a janitor from Canada? Oh, cannabis. Now, the first time really understand this shit. Picture me for a second and imagine it. Chilling in a bad dance and relaxing when all of a sudden some bullshit comes across the skin of the cannabis. Or some stand live shit. It creeped me out at first, man, this is sick. But me being just the sick, this conflict gets my dick harder than arithmetic. Hey yo, hey yo, y'all listening to this shit? I bet. Peep the scene. Batman in the bad cave in the bad mash and chilling, I I let's go. Now at first I ain't really understand this shit. Picture uh -huh. me for a second and imagine it. Okay, Showing okay. in a bad dance and relaxing when all of a sudden some bullshit comes across the skin of the tin bitch. Or some stand live shit. It creeped me out at first, man. This is sick. But me being just a sick, this conflict gets my dick harder than arithmetic. <laughs> Hey yo, that shit spooked me. That shit caught me off guard. I was a little, I was a little spooked at first, but me being just a sick, ooh, ooh, that shit got me all. <laughs> yeah, this nigga sick. Man, this is sick. <laughs> but me being just a sick, this conflict gets my dick harder than a red dick. dick. And I know how you jealous ones envy. I should have knew better from the first few letters you sent me. The first two letters you were telling me shit like you respect me, like any other regular. The third letter you ask, how come I ain't return none of the messages The shady records you left me The fourth letter, let me really start and upset me The fifth letter told me you were coming to get me this <laughs> That's some stand shit, the third letter Hey Stan, you're really starting to upset me Oh shit, Regular I MC. The third letter you ask, how come I ain't return none of the messages The shady records you left me The fourth oh, letter, let me really start and upset me The fifth letter <laughs> told me you were coming to get me The sixth letter, there's a bomb threat in our building this crazy motherfucker's really trying to kill me So I went back and read the first few letters it said Some shit about a message you left Oh shit, that's not a E, that's an A This dude wants to leave me a massage, he's gay Right away I'm on the phone with Dr. Dre We got a bogey Marshall, I'm on the way <laughs> Hey yo, this shit is crazy, bro Yo, he, he dissing this nigga, right? He killing this nigga Toe tagging this nigga Right close casket type shit He's telling a story at the same time. This is a bedtime story, my nigga. Don't forget that shit. It's still a bedtime story. Oh my god. Try the message you left. Oh shit. That's not a E, that's an A. This dude wants to leave me a massage. He's gay. Right away, I'm on the phone with Dr. Dre. We got a bogey. Marshall, I'm on the way. Can a bitch, oh, can a bitch. Wherefore art thou, can a bitch? Please tell me what happened with that style that you were rapping with. Can a bitch, oh, can a bitch. Both know where this kid lives, and neither one of us have 
Canadian citizenship. <laughs> Shit. Oh, Dre, wait a minute, that's it. All we gotta do is use a bit of turbo boost. We can fly over the border. Let's go. So we're off to Toronto when we're gaining speed. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Jermaine Dupree. Fuck it. <laughs> Keep going. Ah, Jermaine Dupree, Jermaine Dupree out here catching strays. He's another nigga that I'm at a beef with. We're gonna talk about that later, but that shit just caught me off guard, bro. Poor thing. I feel like Jermaine Dupree, he just has that baby face, bro. He just has that baby face. <laughs> All we gotta do is use a bit of turbo boost. We can fly over the border. Let's go. <laughs> so we're off to Toronto when we're gaining speed. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Jermaine Dupree, fuck it. <laughs> Keep going, no time to waste. Wait, back up. Hit him one more time. Okay, fuck, now he's dragging under the car. Oh well, only 30 more thousand miles. Meanwhile, me and Dre are trying to conversate. He's trying to find a reason for the constant hate and trying to figure out what happened to Jermaine Propane. Putting the fell off that hard. Ain't no way. What happened to the way you was rapping when you was scandalous? The cannabis turned into a television evangelist. Plus, he raps with his regular voice. What was that? Pet Shop Boys. Hey, yo! Hey, 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 god damn. This has to be one of the most disrespectful disses of all time, man. I don't know how niggas can hear this shit and be like, I'm a diss this nigga. How, how can you as a grown-ass man, right? A grown-ass man. You from the street, you a gangster, you as hard as you think. You know there's a track like this sitting somewhere with somebody's name on it. And you think, oh, I'm a diss this nigga too. What the? What's wrong with y'all niggas, bro? I don't get it. I don't get it. Jermaine's still catching strays, though. What else? Well, only 30 more thousand miles. Meanwhile, me and Dre are trying to conversate. Just trying to find a reason for the constant hate. And trying to figure out what happened to Jermaine Propane. Putting the fell off that hard. Ain't no way. Uh -huh. What happened to the way you was rapping when you was scandalous? The cannabis turned into a television evangelist. Plus, he raps with his regular voice. What was that? Pet Shop Boys. So we pull up to the bridge where he last was spotted. His corpse was still moving, but his ass was rotted. He kind of smelled a little like Courtney Love. I figured if I stick him with a fork, he's done. So I stabbed him twice. Kept jabbing Christ. He won't die. This guy's like a battered wife. He oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> yo, what a what? But his ass was rotted. He kind of smelled a little like Courtney Love. Uh -huh. I figured if I stick him with a fork, he's done. So I stabbed him twice. Kept jabbing Christ. He won't die. This guy's like a battered wife. He's like him. He keeps coming back for more. Mm. But he won't fight back. I cracked his jaw. Yo, yo, yo. That's some out of pocket shit, bro. That's some dark shit. I don't, what kind of kids you telling this story to, my nigga? What, what kind of kids is this, bro? Wife, he's like him. He keeps coming back for more, but he won't fight back. I cracked his jaw. Hold up. This quit's holding up. Punch me in the chest, make my shoulders touch. Do something. At least one punchline. Come on, to the meter reads nine. Nine, nine. He lied. He said, my fans are blonde. Bitch, come on, answer me, man. Respond. Tell me about the sun, rain, moon, and stars. Intergalactical metaphors for more. <laughs> That intergalactical metaphors for Mars. It's because this nigga Cannabis, his rhyme, first off, I I hate this nigga's style too. If you've heard Cannabis' music, that style is just atrocious. And he's always trying to seem so smart, like some NASA type shit. That's why they hit him with that intergalactic metaphors for Mars. That's the type of shit he be rapping about. Computer chips, the matrix glitch, all that type of shit. Tell me about the sun, rain, moon, and stars. Intergalactical metaphors for Mars. Raw to the floor, raw like reservoir dogs. Ah. Right another line from Red Man's song. Suddenly the stub of a dead man's arm from a midget reaches out from under the car. It's JD. This motherfucker <laughs> won't die neither. Dre starts spraying. Hey, yo, he, okay, okay, okay. So he's telling a bedtime story while dissing cannabis. But in the meantime, He's dragging Jermaine Dupree out here. He's still catching strays, nigga. He's still under the whip, though. They had ran that motherfucker over, right? They backed up and ran him over twice. But apparently he got stuck to the car. You know how I'd be like gum when you drop over gum. I should just stick to the tires type shit. And now they at the bridge. They trying to deal with cannabis. And poof, this nigga arm come out. Like, what the fuck? Write another line from Red Man's song. Suddenly the stub of a dead man's arm from a midget reaches out from under the car is JD. This motherfucker won't die neither. Dre starts spraying him with cans of ether. We stomp the bitch and then stomp the bitch again. Confident. Detroit bitch, talk some shit again. Stomp him, switch feet, stomp him, switch again. Dre, alright, he's dead, dog. We're kicking him. I think Stanabis jumped off the bridge again. He disappeared, yo, he's gone, he did it again. Stand the bitch, oh, 
So they whooping cannabis's ass. Jermaine Dupree's little midget arm, little faggot ass arm comes out, right? And they switch to him, like, yo, this motherfucker ain't dead. Dre grabs the ether, starts spraying this nigga. They put their arms and feet on this nigga, like Mr. Potato Head type shit. They just stomping this nigga. Cannabis out here with whatever life he's got left in him. Sees that shit like, oh shit, they fucking that nigga up. Jumps off the bridge. <laughs> Jump off the bridge again. He disappeared, yo, he's gone, he did it again. Canna bitch, oh canna bitch. Wherefore art thou canna bitch? Please tell me what happened with that style that you were rapping with. Canna bitch, oh canna bitch. Are you from Los Angeles, New York, or just a janitor from Canada? That'd be hard too, but I ain't never seen no type of shit like this, bro. Like, and I've heard a lot of diss tracks about Evan, but this one? Yo, they, they killed this nigga. Like, ain't nobody finna sign you, play your shit, talk to you, take a picture with you, shake hands with you after this. I know this cannabis nigga was on that Matt Hoffa podcast. Talk. I think he talked about this shit a little bit. I'm not sure. I watched that shit. I just saw that shit. And I was like, mm. but this shit was crazy. Woo! One of my favorite disses for sure, man. Yo, 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 I've had fun, man. I've had fun with these diss tracks, these back and forth. But you know what time it is. It's time to go back to regular viewing. I know there's a lot of tracks that y'all been asking me to get through from Yellow Wolf and Cassie, Kasky to uh, uh, Music to be Murdered by Side A, Side B. Fucking recovery, all that shit, man. It's a lot of tracks to get through, but we done with the diss tracks for now, and I'm going to tap in with y'all later. But, hey, leave a like, comment, sub if you ain't sub. Y'all see what we doing, man. I had a good time. Let's get it.